the school district here has looked into these allegations and says it has taken action. Still, parent Kyla Posey says she can't believe a principal thought separating students according to race was a good idea. We've lost sleep trying to figure out, like, why would a person do this? Kyla Posey says she was stunned when she learned about classes segregated by race at Mary Lynn Elementary last year, a practice she says was put in place and condoned by Principal Sharon Briscoe. Principal Sharon Briscoe. Principal Sharon Briscoe. Principal Sharon Briscoe. <laughs> Let me just spell out the obvious just in case anyone is confused about any sort of happenings that take place in the world. If you have to separate people based on race, you're doing a bad job trying to unify people and trying to get them to understand the plight of all these different races. What does it say about a black woman deciding that she is going to separate the black and the white students, ignoring every other ethnicity that could possibly be in the school, and saying that this is so that the black kids can get a better opportunity what type of backwards ass thinking is going on not just in Georgia but everywhere because people are seemingly okay with making sure that we got all this different divide everywhere but it's only to help the black kids because if you help the white kids and divide them up and give them a better opportunity to get chances and succeed oh we can't do that because white supremacy and every white person has a better opportunity than every Every other human being that ain't white in the world and all oh, white privilege and all these different things it literally is the dumbest move you could make and what makes it funnier is she's a black woman doing it first it was just disbelief that I was having this conversation in 2020 with a person that looks just like me a black woman it's segregating classrooms you cannot segregate classrooms it's you can't do it. And it's really just, how could you possibly think you, a black woman, the most disrespected group in American history, could sit there and want to separate people based on their race? We all like to do this weird thing where we quote MLK and Malcolm X and think that just because they're dead and we can bring them up, we're doing a good job and we're doing this in their name because their words motivated us to do all this stupid shit we're doing now. It's not working. You're doing this based on race. You don't know the content of any of these kids' characters because you're a principal and your job is to make sure no one gets in a fucking school fight. You don't know any of these kids. You don't know anything they do. You don't even know how they react in the classrooms. You're sitting there dividing them essentially just because you want to and you got the power to do it. And ultimately, it's up to people if they want to do this. If they want to bring their kids to this school where they'll be separated from people and they'll sit there and be taught all these different things separate from other students and they will either come out smarter or dumber and at that point if they come out dumber that's the school's fault because they decided to do all this different shit instead of teaching everybody the same shit title six of the civil rights act of 1964 say that you cannot uh treat one group of people differently based upon race and that is what is going on at mary lynn and to close the video, I ain't even got to say nothing. I'm going to just let this woman do it because she did it better than me. And she did it better than I could possibly do it. Says, Welcome back to school. Like racial segregation. Let's talk about it. So apparently a principal in a school in Atlanta, Georgia, decided to separate the white kids and the black kids in the school from white kids to black kids. They were in different classes. First off, does your school not have other ethnicities? What's, what's going on in Georgia? But the principal said that she was separating these students by race to give them more opportunities, whatever the fuck that means. Oh, and also the principal was a black woman. And that, kids, is an example of going so far left that you end up going right. Subscribe to the channel. I'm happy to see all your beautiful faces in my comment section bitching about, oh, this is a good thing and how dare you and black people need these opportunities. To all the people that's going to say that, I got a question for you. How low do you think of black people that you want to separate them from others instead of having them all learning the same shit together? What sort of unification are you expecting trying to divide everybody and getting them learning different things and having only two black classes? 
classes apparently with two teachers while the white kids get six different classes with six different teachers. Posey says she found out the school was putting black students in two separate classes with two separate teachers. The white kids were placed in six classes with six different teachers. Posey says the principal said that wouldn't work. She said that that's not one of the black classes and I immediately said, what does that mean? Um, I was confused. I asked for more clarification. On, I was like, we have those in the school? And she proceeded to say that, yes, I have decided that um, I'm going to place all of the black students in two classes. The administrator confirmed it was the principal's decision and seemed to offer an explanation why the classes were set up this way. Well, we have more black kids, too, and then, and then some of them are in a class because of the services that they need. How are you going to explain that? Hmm? Where's your unification? Hmm? Where's all your peace? Hmm? I thought you cared about unified. Hmm? You like my poster in the back? It's still sideways. I hope that pisses you off. Bye.